What's up YouTube, Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper here. In this video I'm excited to be announcing a couple new additions. If you watched my uh, last reptile room tour in December 2016, you'll probably remember that my uh, breeding pair of Felsa melaticata gold dust day geckos up in uh, that tank right there uh, had a couple eggs laid in a big piece of cork bark in their tank. Those two hatched out. We've got both of them here. Uh, and they actually laid a couple more eggs, which are on the way. In this video, we're going to be setting up all four of those babies. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Since they hatched, our uh, inhabitants have been living in this little tiny, I believe it's a one gallon uh, aquarium, tipped on its end. Um, it's very small. It's got this big piece of cork bark in it, and the first pair of eggs was actually laid inside that hole, and that's the pair that are actually out running around right now. Um, I've been feeding these guys Pangea uh, Crested Gecko Diet, along with flightless fruit flies and a bit of banana. Um, and they're currently on a substrate of um, coconut core, but you can see that's pretty dry in places. So we're going to get them into a bit smaller, more appropriately sized containers today. These are very small containers with very small inhabitants, so we don't really need all that many supplies to get this done. Uh, over here on the left is our substrate. I, w I normally use a different brand of sphagnum moss, but this is what we have on hand and it works great. So this is Zoomed's All Natural Terrarium Moss. It is a species of sphagnum moss, and this is what we're going to use to line our cups. This is going to help retain humidity. Over here, these are just a couple fake plants. These aren't really necessary, but I'm including them as a hiding place and as decoration. Over here, we have some cut pieces of bamboo. Uh, these are going to be the main hiding places for our geckos, uh, and this is just going to provide them somewhere to perch as well. Um, over here is what we're going to use for our uh, geckos that are still in eggs. We are going to use this as a substrate for the third and final deli cup uh, so we can transfer our pair of eggs into here. Over here in the back we have a, uh, an automatic mister. This is what I'm going to be using twice daily to uh, mist the baby geckos in their cups um, and also what I'm going to be using to wet the terrarium moss over there. To start, we're going to get out this moss and divvy it up between the two containers on the left. Put about an equal amount in each of them. And any big uh, sticks or anything in there might be worth taking out, but it shouldn't be a huge deal. Some of these can be somewhat sharp. Once there is plenty of moss in each cup, we are going to take our mister and we're just going to get this nice and damp. You can do this to the moss beforehand, but I'm doing it now just for sake of time. And then you're going to want to pack that down towards the bottom, get it nice and firm. And now both cups have a layer of substrate. Once our moss is in, we are going to be putting these guys in there. Uh, these bamboo hides, I made three of them of varying lengths. So we're going to put the longest in our first cup. You can angle that a little bit to uh, keep it standing. I'm going to add one of these to each just for uh, aesthetic purposes. Our third cup here is much simpler. Uh, this one, like I said, is for eggs rather than hatchlings. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our bag of vermiculite, um, cut this open at the top here, and just fill the cup with about a, a quarter inch or so of this. We really do not need all that much. And just for good measure to hold a bit of humidity, I am going to spritz this just a little bit. So now that our three containers are finally done, uh, we are going to very carefully move the inhabitants to their new homes. We'll start with this pair of eggs, which is still on the ground. 
Unlike bird eggs, reptile eggs do not need to be flipped or rotated at all, especially with small species of geckos like this. The uh, hatchlings are actually stuck to the outer wall of the egg and they're not floating inside there. So if you tilt the egg at all or if you flip it over, they could drown inside there. Anytime you're moving reptile eggs, be very careful to keep them in the position they are originally sitting in. And once these guys hatch out, they'll have plenty of space to roam around until they get new deli cups. Now that our eggs are out of the way, we've just got these two left, and uh, for sake of not losing either of these, I may actually just cut here and come back once both of these little guys are in their new cups. As I was moving them, one of them decided to jump on my hand, and I had to show you just how tiny and cute he is. This one's really fat because it's actually been eating quite a bit of uh, food already in the few days it's been alive. You can see they are just absolutely minute little animals. Gorgeous eyes. And when he's an adult, he'll only be about the length of one of my fingers. Um, right now he is, in total, uh, about half the size of my thumb. I'm going to get him back in his cage before he runs up my shirt. And we have success with all three of these guys. Right here we've got the first and the second hatchling gold dust day geckos, uh, Felsima laticata. Both of them are doing just fine in there. This one's not quite used to the concept of plastic, but he'll get there. And then these two eggs are also doing perfectly fine. I think they have about 20 more days left to incubate, so once those hatch out, I will be getting them into cups identical to these. And they'll be staying in there until either they grow out of those containers, or I sell them off to people who are interested in buying them. I have uh, prepared a space for them in one of the adult Felsma laticata tanks, and the stack of all three of these is just going to go into the back right-hand corner. And these can just sit in here, they'll get enough uh, UV light from up above, uh, it stays a nice temperature in there, and uh, they will be receiving, they'll be misted twice a day, and they'll be receiving uh, flightless fruit flies and Pangea crested gecko diet with insect protein. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching.